This is a project that I started years ago, and quite honestly, I never finished it. The reason for that is that at the time I was on mobile and I just never got around to doing it. This was planned to be one of my biggest builds on Build a Boat for Treasure, spanning all the way to the edges of my plot and eventually passing them with some clever tricks. But ultimately I stopped. I stopped because there was just so many better ways to do it after one point, and there was no reason for me to keep making this. Albeit it would be cool, but it was supposed to be a one-up from my mega wheel, the thing that initially made me popular. Now, while it might not look like much, it was a lot for me at the time. This spent hours and hours of dedication to make this actually look the way it does. But ultimately, didn't really get that far, and it's kind of a letdown. Now, that being said, I'm still proud of how far I've gotten, but it should be noted that this was stopped a couple years ago. I'm an early build of Over Treasure player, and I've played for many years prior to this. And I was probably one of the first people to play, not first people to play, but like first people to dedicate a ton of time. I didn't record my findings as I was very young, but when I could make YouTube videos, I did make YouTube videos on some small stuff. Now, I was not one of the first developers. I was an early developer, but I was not one of the first. But I still enjoyed making content for the game, and I do plan to come back to it someday as I've talked with Chill Thrill, and, you know, once I finish college, I should be able to come back to this, and I'll enjoy myself developing this game a lot more. But for now, I just intend to play and make videos that I hopefully you guys do enjoy. Now I wanted to give this build one last cast on the water and make a video about it because it means a lot to me. I know you've probably seen it some other places, maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit smaller. I don't even know if it's my saves. Yeah, this is just not the... <laughs> but yeah. It was something I never got to finish, not because I didn't think it was good, just because I just never got around to it and I got discouraged quite a lot. And without wasting your time anymore, I feel like I should, you know, put it on the water. Now I already asked you to subscribe and comment, like the video and notify yourself of my videos. And this is a calmer video, I know. It's not normally what I do, but I just got back from vacation and I wanted a nice relaxing video. I don't think this is going to get to the end, to be honest, but I do think that, I don't know, it'd be neat to see it go one last time. For my younger audience, this might be a more, I don't know, not heavy, but less exciting video to watch. Now, what you might not have known is I built this during some of the peak of my popularity, getting thousands of views on each video, and honestly surging in a lot of subscribers. And I found myself coming back to that long ago popularity, not to the same extent, but I want to re-tap into that, because it is kind of fun playing with this, and it is kind of fun interacting with the community again. You guys are genuinely good people, and I appreciate your support. I'll be at the community is a lot smaller now, and not as many people really do much anymore, but I do appreciate the support. I do intend to keep making videos, even though sometimes there's delays, sometimes I'll have things going on, and sometimes I'm going to be available. But expect shorts and long form videos like these if you feel like watching. There's no harm in liking the video or commenting. Honestly, commenting is the best thing you can do for me. Um, if you don't want to subscribe or like the video. It just helps, and I really appreciate it. No harm, no foul. Now, a lot of these stages I kind of never really learned about. Um, they were added during my quote-unquote hiatus, um, when I really wasn't interacting with the community. Like, I never really knew this stage existed. Uh, I don't know if there's any secrets with it. Now, I've used, seen similar damage blocks, but I haven't seen, like, this actual stage. Um, 
there are some really old stages still in, but not many. Like this one, I remember. Um, it was not really an old one. It was more or less a moderately decent one. Um, it uses very bouncy, bouncy uh, damage projectiles. It bounces on the water. And for a build like this, it's terrible because it'll just fall into it and get stuck. Which you usually don't want for a boat to get constantly damaged. Um, but, you know, this is built before the stage even existed. I think this is built way before the stage existed. The right side bar used to never exist. I remember when it was just not a thing. Um, and I don't know if there is a high GUI option. If so, I can't really find it. I remember when the uh, tab menu wasn't like that, which I don't mind it. Xenac made it. It looks cool, and I like it. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of people that I haven't spoke to in a long while and, you know, speak to recently. I've been playing and posting a bit on the build a book for Treasure Discord, and it's quite enjoyable. A lot of crazy people there. This is an extremely old stage, probably one of the oldest and least changed. It has a lot of secrets added into it as time went on, but for the most part, this stage has been one of the oldest and most unchanged stages to date. It pretty much looked like this, sands the glowing forever. Now, this is a moderately new stage, I'd like to say, but I guess it's not that new anymore. Um, kind of funky, and I don't know, I like it. And if you're curious about any of this, um, as a builder for these stuff in this game, um, we were instructed to not use meshes as they use specific textures, which don't load for everyone as quick. Um, so everything you see here is usually, and I don't say every time, but usually not made with a specific mesh and more or less just made with built-in meshes already. Um, well, not meshes, built-in uh, textures already. Um, so everything you see here is most likely just you could build it if you go into a Roblox studio. So I don't know, kind of cool. But it was a little interesting tidbit. Um, so if you're ever wanting to make a stage for a bit of a treasure or design one that you want some of the devs to see, uh, make it without uh, having tons of meshes and tons of like specific textures. Because albeit it, the inspiration is there and that, that counts for a lot. Meshes don't really pair well with Build for Treasure. It's more or less a mesh free game. <laughs> That makes sense but there is still some you'll find them here and there uh, in fact all of the morphs used to be meshes but they have been since forth moved to a solid block type thing also this stage is killer for this if i could have landed upside down i would have um you know kind of turned weird would have died <laughs> um I forget I'm a kid's channel, but not a uh, not a not a baby channel. <laughs> I'd still say died. Uh, so yeah. If you're interested in my other channel, you'll probably find it naturally. Um I don't really share it here because it's such a different field of people and much older audience. Not super, super old. Um, but a little older. No offense to y'all. Um, and there shouldn't nothing be wrong with that. Perfectly, uh, perfectly nothing wrong with it. Um, because youth is amazing, and I watch my older videos because it's something I look back on fondly. Um, my enjoyment at the time, and thinking that was the hardest thing I had to have to get through. Um, things aren't harder, things aren't worse, but. Life comes pretty quick, and sometimes you take for granted the things that 
were much easier as a kid. So I say this to the younger people watching this, and maybe the people who are my age, maybe the people who are older have been watching for a while. Cherish the time you have. And I guess it sounds like a broken record, but always cherish the ones around you because it feels like it's going to last forever. And you might pretend you don't care, but ultimately everyone cares. That's a good thing. Never be ashamed about caring about something. I know a lot of movies make out the uh, the main person as having caring for too much things is their downfall, or they could be used as something against them. But always remember, we are just humans. We aren't superheroes in the middle of a movie. We are okay to care about things deeply. No bad guy is going to come for you, most likely, and hold that against you. So always care about people and always love those around you. Because in the end, we all don't know what we're doing and we're all kind of floating around. Even greats like, I don't know, Gandhi, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Just amazing people. We all still don't know 100% what we do. Uh, not in a bad way, but even those at the top. Elon Musk, the president, any celebrity you see, we're all kind of clueless. And not in a bad way. It's just we all are kind of just floating here. And no matter how powerful or how high up you think you are, or how powerful you actually are, we all still don't know what we're doing. And that's the beauty of life. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about knowing what to do all the time because no one knows what they're doing. I doubt Elon Musk knows exactly what they're doing. Albeit I don't like them that much. Really at all, but <laughs> as besides the point. They still probably share a lot of characteristics with us that we honestly have no idea what we're doing. So yes, this is more of a, I don't know, serious, so to speak, video. It's probably one of the last ones I'll do like this. So, for once, I encourage you to watch my older videos. Look back on the time we've had. Y'all are amazing people and never stop being amazing. Love those around you and never stop caring. Have fun and take care. Bye.